Welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. Got some more Super Auto Pets for you today. Uh, let's do some more of the weekly pack. Obviously when a new build comes out, the custom packs that we create get erased. So I haven't been focusing on those, but I think I'm going to do those um, in the few upcoming days because I don't have a lot of time to do that. But for now, let's try the weekly pack and see how we do. Did any of these animals get changed? Not sure. Frill Dragon did pretty good work for us last time. Not that any of these have a faint ability though. So, you know, it might be a slow start. It could be the wavy beavers. They're waving with their uh, tails. It's good stuff, you know? It's exciting. All right. Okay, they got a bee. They got two bees, in fact, through the nature of bees. So it's a sad draw, but I'm happy to not have lost that, that's for sure. Got an ant. An ant at the front sounds fine. Then again, you'll get the moth buff. The pill bug doing... Something next turn is totally fine because it's 2 2 these days. Another ant, a honey. Well, the faint gives you guys power. Uh, I don't know. Let's put honey on this guy for now. It's something we don't necessarily need more ants. And I don't know if we're going with a frail dragon build, but for now, this uh, it's not the worst team. Okay, they got a much better team, that's for sure. Unless, okay, hold on, we're actually gonna, wait, that's a draw then, okay, you know what, I'll take it. We got lucky to get the ant buff at the back, so we could draw, at least. Okay, shrimp passing honey is always good, or, wait, you're not a shrimp, you're a shrimp. A toucan passing honey is always good, or passing something, peacock's good. Let's combine these two. Uh, toucan, why not, you know, do your thing. And I think instead of you, we can do one of these. Did we just pill bug that moth? Oh, well. Okay, level up soon. Perfect. You really can't have a better uh, team on round three. I've always said that, you know? All right, we trade ants. That's pretty cool. We have the stronger lizard for now. Okay, not anymore. And we're powering up their uh, peacock to one-shot our lizard. So that's a shame. But how's it really going to turn out? Let's see, there's the B. Okay, the pass is the B, so they win with the past B. I guess it makes sense to have the past B in back. Uh, we don't have we don't have that. But we could. And now we do. Alright, what happens here? Tropical fish. Two health total every turn. You're two health total every other turn. So tropical fish is just a strictly better pill bug. And it could work on the peacock, but then we got to... Then the B... Oh, crap. Okay, what if you go at the back and you do that? Is that the worst-looking team ever? Yeah, basically. I don't know if we're going to invest in more of that. We don't have any more fainty friends. Then again, we do have two. So maybe. Why not at this point? The Wombat is interesting. I guess there's going to be more fainted friends these days because people are rolling the Frill Dragon. We could replace an Ant with a Wombat and talk about how it turns into a badger and kills our toucan. I don't know. Okay, they have a very high attack blue jay, so we want to get to that before we uh, have just a bee on our team. And, okay, looks like we might win this one for once. You know, it's nice to uh, cement one of those in the history books. That's pretty good. One win out of four rounds, not too shabby. Actually, kind of is. Okay. But then again, you're not a faint like you are, so you're not going to get the buff. Oh well. I don't even know if I want the Wombat. Starfish. Friend sold if had sell. Give a random friend 1-1. One, one. We learned that change yesterday. It's pretty good. But it's not a feint. Well, let's try that out. We can level this guy and pretend we know what we're doing. Garlic on the Peacock. Then again, he gets the B. Unless we get rid of that. You could give help to what's his name. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We're kind of spread out. We don't have a focus right now. But, you know, it's still early. As long as we have decent stats, we can pull out the win, I think. Let's see what we're grabbing here. An ant for our wombat. So it's just a better stat of the ant at that point, and I'll take it. You know, it allowed us to trade there. We're going to trade here. I think we might win overall. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, barely. Or the ant or the bee would have saved us in the end. So I do appreciate that. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, close to leveling up the fish. Toucan I'm less than thrilled with. So let's add some health. 
to our peacock. But at that point, garlic makes a lot of sense because now we don't have the bee getting passed back. Interesting. You can freeze you for next turn and do a wombat for now. More uh, frigate birds would be great. More peacocks are A-OK -okay with me. Abilities deal two more damage. We don't have that unless you get a badger or something like that. Tabby cat. You know, I was thinking there could be a super food build. Your team would be uh, seal, tabby cat, I guess ladybug, and whatever else works when food hits it. And then you just keep buying ice cream because it hits everybody every turn. You'd be going crazy. I don't know. There's just something in the works. Maybe it doesn't work out. We have to... It's still in the workshop, for sure. Okay. Fighting an ox here is really nice, because our peacock's just going to wipe the rest of your team. 24 attack, not too shabby. But, you know, the guarantee hit with the ice cream because it's all five. I think that's, uh... I think that's interesting. I gotta see what else works on food. I forget, honestly. Okay, a chicken. Buy tier one pet, give current and future shop pets 1-1. One, one. I've never gotten a chicken build to work. Why not do it right now? Cans are then essential, right? You get a chicken, buy a tier one, give current and future shops one one. Okay, so right now our whole team is rolling off a peacock and maybe a bee at the end winning because these guys are just uh, along for the ride. But you know, tier ones, that's a bad one. Here's another one. Well, he'll actually give us another gold when we sell him, so maybe he's not the worst. And you get a buff someday soon. From the chicken. Might have to lose the wombat for the cell spot because this fish is keeping our uh, friends alive, I'll be honest. Okay, they got a badger. I was gonna say it doesn't have B, but it in fact does, thanks to the toucan. So we gotta watch out for that. We might just lose without them needing a honey badger. Yeah, well, any animal behind would have lost that for us. That's a shame. Okay, so you're out. You're in. Everybody gets buffed. We get most of our gold back. That's pretty good. You 6-3. I mean, honestly, that's something. But for now, the fish upgrades to a 7-8. That's, that's an upgrade, right? And then we sell you and buy another one. We could get a penguin to buff these two. Then we'd have to lose the chicken or the peacock. That doesn't make sense. They're the whole thing we're built around. We could just do a buffalo. Friends sold. We could replace the frill dragon with a buffalo just to have a super unit in the back and you just profit off the tier ones. That's something to think about. A frog in front, it's not really gonna do anything. Oh, I have a gold. Tier ones? No? Okay. Anything we want to buy? Not really. Maybe save that for the buffalo. What do you think about that? I don't know. He'll come out at 10-11 thanks to the tropical fish. So that's definitely something to think about. They do have a strong peacock, however. Very strong. Okay, and he crits us. All right, another crit, please. No problem, you just said 32 attack. You didn't have to crit at that point. All right, they got a good team. We don't, but we will have a good team soon. Okay, so you just get sold. So you get sold, you buff the yak. We don't need the fish right now. I'll take a tier one. I guess I should have done that before the yak, but he gets buffed from it anyway. Here. And I keep calling him a yak, but he's a buffalo, so my apologies. And, okay, a frog is a buy for now. Or a monkey could just give us stats without all this shenanigans. Hmm. Well, let's think. We don't need these at the back anymore because we don't have the B. We could put a monkey here, or we could keep doing the buy-sell trick. I'd love to find another peacock. It would probably have seven base attack thanks to the chicken. Let me roll eight base attack. How about that? All right, if we make it out of this, we got a chance. If we make it out of this, which I don't think we will. But it, it's always cool to see a chicken work. I've never seen it, though. So, But I, I assume it's always cool to see it work. So this is our try. Okay, I don't see... Okay, I do see a large uh, rooster level 2 at the back. It's going to be a little scary. Then again, <clears throat> we did lose to it, so... There's that. Okay, that's a shame. Maybe we shouldn't have gone chicken build. Maybe we shouldn't have stuck with uh, whatever for too long, because that was our downfall. 
A pill bug can work early on. I don't know about a bluebird so much, and I guess this is what we'll be buying. We'll be the helpless submarines. They're on land. There's no water. They're helpless. Right, let's give it another shot here. Okay. I don't think there's a world where we win this, but we can draw it. That's pretty lucky. Okay. Or maybe it was destined. I don't know. Holy moly. Okay. Well, we can work on a future level up. I guess we'll take two of these with no food. Whoops. And do we need more than the level up, though? Probably not. Okay, we got decent stats, honestly. I, I, I foresee a draw on this one. Let's see what they got. Ooh, they do have the bee going back. We're going to have to see how this pans out. Okay, we, we die there instead of trade, thanks to the bee. Yeah, we lose this one because they're well-placed bee. If only we had a bee, but that's fine. We'll have one in the future and or right now. And we're also going to have... Oh, I forgot about the pill bug, honestly. And we're also going to have... A badger. You know, I didn't want to honey badger it up, okay? But a 4-3 for now sounds good. We give you the honey. You pass it back. You pass it back. Maybe we'll put it here. Whoops. We have a honey badger. You know, it was a complete accident. Honestly. Chinchilla doesn't work out right now. Stop giving me moths, man. And I guess you could have more attack. It makes you more threatening as a honey badger. Am I, um, am I the scum of the earth for using a honey badger? That's debatable. But maybe. Alright, let's see what they got here. Definitely some animals. Interesting. You're buffing the attack of a marmoset for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. But you know what? It's, it's pretty interesting. Any animal with honey would have won there, so I'm, I don't feel ashamed just yet. But you know, it's only round four, so there's that. Frill dragon, I mean, we have three faints, so you're better than a pill bug at the moment. So why not? Even though you're not great long term. Okay, stop it with the moths. Do you want me to have a level 3 moth? I guess I can. I mean, you're going to get more health. Whatever. Now we're never going to see another moth. Now that I passed 6, now we're never going to see another one. Okay, this is viable. Peacock, you failed me last time. Or maybe I failed you. Maybe I failed you. I don't know which is the correct sentence to say. This is going to be rough on our toucan, I'll be honest. Okay. And they spawned a badger pretty late. Well, if only we killed their badger. But we didn't. But then it would have had honey. So there's that. That's, that's fine. I think I deserve to be punished for even buying a badger. I think that's just the case. Alright. You combine Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis. I think we use Praying Mantis a little too much, so I don't know if that's interesting anymore. Then again, we have a Honey Badger, so that's definitely not interesting. An Ox is good, but it's not good enough. Another Badger. You could have a Front Badger and a Back Badger. I don't really see anything I'm loving. I'm not in love with this weekly pack, I have to say that. I'm legally obligated. I guess I should actually buy an animal. You're something. And I hate all of these. You're a very temporary buy. Yeah, I have no focus. I don't know what I want to go for. But you know, they're going to have three meats on their team, so I'm a little scared of that. Except for the fact that they all died in one hit, so their meat didn't really matter all that much. Looks like we're gonna win this one, thanks to a bee on our back unit. Didn't have to be a honey badger, but a honey unit in the back is a strong play. Okay, we're doing this for some godforsaken reason. The wasp, I guess it could work on some build, not this one. Pineapple badger, sounds ridiculous, so we're not gonna do it. Blowfish, why do we still have an ant on our team? I'm not loving any of the animals in this pack, you know what? I've just come to that realization. And it's always these four in the shop. Why? Why does this occur? Okay, we could have had a level 2 blowfish. That's fine. Puppy? A little late for a puppy. I guess we'll buy this. Kind of losing uh, hope, but that's because I haven't, you know, nothing concrete in my mind is formed. Once that happens, we're a sure shoe in Okay, they kill their penguin. That's great. After that, we're going to lose. 
to this large uh, frail dragon. And you know what? We deserve it. But now we're going to go into tier 5. We're probably going to wipe the whole team. Okay, it's a draw. No. Why'd they have two bees? Oh, one was from the dragon. One was from the moth. I understand. That's alright. Now that we're in tier 5, look at all these great uh, units. Let's buy a platypus. Let's roll for an actual... Oh, we're on tier 4. I knew that. A uh, penguin could do some work. I mean, your level... That's, there's the t tier 5 I was talking about. Okay, we're going to sell the sheep, we sell the platypus, we sell the duck, buy an eagle, obviously, you sell the beaver, we get a penguin going on our uh, moth and toucan, doesn't really sound very good, does it? No, it doesn't. So let's do it. Okay. Penguin, I wish he was on the team, but I wish it was just a four squad. Like, he doesn't have a real spot on the team. No offense, Mr. Penguin. All right, let's see what else we got going here. Buffalo, interesting. Whale, not too interesting. Okay, this is definitely some animals that we already own. We're struggling here. I see our highest stat is an eight. So, I think we lose this one. They have a 15 attacker. They have an 11, 12. All right, our moth is buffing itself, and it doesn't even work out that well, honestly. It's very sad. I mean, it could depend what we get here. Okay. I mean, the the octopus killed the badger, and then the badger killed the... well, hit the guy, so the octopus... the octopus won that. That's incredible. That was a surprise of a lifetime. I don't think we deserve anything we're getting here, but I'll take it. And I'll take one of these two. That's incredibly lucky. A poodle. That's a tier 5, but we do have the eagle I'd like to buff. We could get rid of the... Well, if we get rid of one of those, then the penguin is... Ugh. Poodle. Alright, we'll think about it next shop. We don't have any gold. So we'll think about it next shop for sure. Okay. Well, we might lose this one as we don't have a ton of health. Then again, their entire team just died, so I don't know for sure. What the hell is happening? You killed your own team, you brought out ants that you also killed, and my uh, my jaguar stands alone. Leopard, whatever it is, who cares? Okay, so if we brought a poodle out, it would match an eagle. These two are tier ones. We'd have to get rid of the badger, which I'm okay with. But then, I mean, a poodle only buffs half the squad. I'd rather have something else, but I don't know what. A cow. Honestly, the badger. I don't even know if it helped. We're going to up the health of our moth due to the fact that it's in front. Chicken. Doesn't work. We learned that already. At least didn't work for us that one time, so I'll now assume it never works. This sounds good. Oops. This sounds good. A Komodo. Give friends 1-1 one, one and shuffle. We could do that. I guess it's help. it helps if the toucan's in the front, too. And it helps if a higher unit is in front for the moth buff. Freeze that. Yikes. Pepper. Sure, give me a Komodo. Let's see what shenanigans we can get up to. If we pepper the rest of the squad... Uh, does that make sense? I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's see how this turns out, and I and I might have to cry myself to sleep afterwards, win or lose. Okay, they got a lot of buffalo, they got a lot of chickens, or roosters, some would say. Okay, pretty decent, pretty decent. We're gonna pop that, we're gonna hit them. Okay, and we're gonna live, and we're gonna win. Okay, Komodo Dragon, you didn't screw us over yet, but soon you will, I'm sure. Um, I'll be right back though. One second. Sorry about that. Okay, I guess we might not need the honey anymore, since, you know, I mean, honey's good and all, but a pepper's better honey, because then you, it's like you live as the bee, but with your base attack, if you were going to get one shot. So there's that. So you're going to make honey, and then yourself honey. Oh, an eagle. That's nice. We could pepper somebody else, but if they end up behind the toucan, it's kind of a not good thing. Alright, what other foods do we have in this pack? The one up, 
I mean, there's not that many other passive foods, I guess. We can put the pepper on you, in case you're not behind the toucan, and call it a day. If we get another eagle or two more Komodos, this penguin's really going to be popping. Our whole team's going to be getting buffs all over. I mean, it's only round 10. And we got uh, an 1820, a 1618. Okay, an eagle at the front. Might spawn a mammoth or something. Can that spawn a tier 6 out of any... Uh, Back? I don't know. Okay, our pepper broke, but here's the great news. We're going to get it back from the toucan. So even if our pepper breaks, we get it back. And guess what? We... Our pepper didn't break? Or our pepper didn't get passed back? Wait. The toucan died, right? Why did it pass back its pepper? Oh, because it broke. I'm... Okay. I realize right now you don't pass a pepper back because it breaks no, before you die, obviously. So we could pepper the whole squad, no problem. And I've been on... I've been sniffing fumes, I guess, the last two, three minutes talking about it. I'm a complete idiot. How about that? Can could work for a Komodo, but, you know, it's not really my super intention. This is good. Health is always helpful. Let's see what happens here. A one-up is fine. Health is always helpful. A one-up on the eagle, maybe. If it's not in first position, it works. And another pepper, since it doesn't get passed back. And I talked about five minutes about how it did get passed back. Okay, our penguin's dead, but our two up front are pretty powerful. Eagle and back could lead to something pretty good. Let's see, they got a 30 attack uh, pill bug. I'm glad it's dead. We trade there, which is pretty cool. They only have a level 1 lionfish, so it's not going to weakness us anymore. However, we are going to lose that because an ostrich has crap stats. But I don't know if any tier 6 would have saved us. Okay, this saves us. Well, potentially. Okay, yes. Hit me with that. I don't know if that's better than a pepper. We don't need more of those, so an eagle is something for sure. All right, so it's it's chance. As long as the eagle's not in front, we have a the best chance of winning. Obviously, the komodo messes with our thing, but if everybody's twenty twenty at some point, we'll be good to go. Okay, but weakness. So there goes the pepper, and we're passing the weakness back. So that's incredible. I love that. Uh, luckily, I think we're going to kill this guy without having to worry about the one-up that got overridden. That's a shame. Now the two cans of liability. Who knew weakness existed? Not me. But now I know it exists. Now I hate it. I guess we don't need to buy that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep it and roll. Okay, taco. Ice cream. I mean, ice cream's more attack for the whole squad. One eagle is one attack and health for the eagle. I mean, if we level them right now, it's something. But right now, it's not. So I don't mind that. It's not a huge impact, but maybe it's enough. There you go. See? Everybody's got 8 or higher attack. That's very low. But some of them are over 20, so that's pretty good. Let's see what happens with the, um, the eagle. We got a llama, and the llama leveled the eagle, so that barely mattered. So you copied our eagle, and you also had a 1-up, so I hate that. Which reminds me, you have a... Okay, I think we might win this. Eight and nine. Okay, it's a draw. Well, I guess we deserve that. I don't know. An eagle here sounds good. I'll take the health, honestly. I don't know if it matters when you have a pepper, because if you get hit with a 50, you go down to one, no matter if you have 28 or, you know, 50 health. But maybe they don't have 50-50s yet. I certainly don't. Not that I'm the paragon for uh, expertise. Anyway, we got an eagle in back, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully it doesn't get overwritten by weakness. Their lionfish is uh, dead, so that's always good news. They also have a one-up eagle. Luckily, ours is better, just for me saying so. I don't really have an exact reason why. And I think we got this one in the bag. Yeah, 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 I think we do. That's pretty nice. All right, we, we, were, we had no direction, and now we've got one direction, not the band. I could, I could get sued for that. Not the bane. Okay, more ice cream. That's not what I'm looking for. Another one-up. Doesn't make a ton of sense. A taco is six attack, where an ice cream is five. I guess so. I mean, we're not buying anything but food or eagles and komodos. So here's another taco. Okay, some more attack, especially on the uh, peppered units, is definitely interesting. And then you're buffing everybody and switching everybody around. Eagle up front? Gotta hate it. Alright, I hate that. Looking good. Alright, they swapped our... 
And then there's an octopus. Okay. The, I was going to say the rest of your team does look scary. I lied, because they got a nice big old rooster. Then again, oh. Penguin stands alone. That's a big old win. Number nine. Okay. Probably the last uh, fight coming up here. We could double the attack of the penguin. We could get more eagles. This will roll for a Komodo or eagle. And freeze the best food we find, which isn't anything. Here's a pepper for uh, Sergeant uh, Pepper. There you go. Okay, Komodo. I need the eagle, you know, like anywhere but the front. It would be really cool. That'd be awesome. Okay, way in back. That looks that looks good. All our peppers up front. Hopefully, okay, there is a clownfish. And he will pass the weakness back because he's a damn toucan in front. Well, Komodo, if you screwed us over with that, I'm going to be uh, beyond pissed. But hold on, we've got a honey badger that we're going to beat to death with a level one eagle. And we got two giant cats standing alone. So there you go. Hey, that's a nice 10 win as far as we were uh, pretty terrible in the beginning, I gotta say. And uh, let's see. I think that'll do it for today. I got a, a lot of stuff going on, but I'm happy to put out this episode or video or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to continue to do that for as long as the beta exists and even when it joins the main uh, game. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like. Let me know if you like this weekly pack. I personally kind of hate it. So there's that. See you next time. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for being here. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.